This is Dr. Phil Chavez. August 13th is the feast of Blessed Michael J. McGivney, an American Catholic priest who died on August 14th, 1890, at the young age of 38. Now, McGivney initiated what is now the largest fraternal order in the world, the Knights of Columbus. McGivney himself, though, came from humble beginnings as the eldest son of Irish immigrants in Connecticut. He left school at 13 to work in a brass factory making spoons. Yet at 16, he began his studies for the priesthood in Quebec. But he was compelled to leave after his father died to support the family. Eventually, Michael completed his studies in Baltimore, Maryland, and was ordained for the Diocese of Hartford in 1877. Now, he was first assigned to St. Mary's Church in New Haven, Connecticut. McGivney found himself in a very active parish located in an anti-Catholic and anti-Irish area. He then established relationships with pastors of other faiths and became active in civic affairs. He would serve as director of public plays and set up fairs. In fact, he would even excel in shooting competitions. Now, McGivney had a great concern for men falling away from the faith and who experienced hardship finding employment, given that for many jobs, the Irish need not apply. So many had to take on hard and dangerous work to support their families in which injury and death were frequent. This often left families destitute. So in 1882, Father McGivney formed the Knights of Columbus among the men of St. Mary's to assist widows and orphans while promoting charity, unity, and fraternity. Patriotism was added as a founding principle in 1900. Today, the order is over 2 million strong and over 16,000 councils promoting several corporal and spiritual works of mercy in the parishes and in the communities. Spending himself, Father McGivney died young from pneumonia and is interred at St. Mary's Parish in New Haven. In an apostolic letter read at the Beatification Mass on October 31st, 2020, Pope Francis writes, Zeal for the proclamation of the gospel and generous concern for the needs of his brothers and sisters made him an outstanding witness of Christian solidarity and fraternal assistance. Listen, Michael J. McGivney, pray for us. And brothers, God be with you.